Guten Tag, KSD Frau Walker. And in this video, I wanted to go over uh, Google Classroom with you, how to log into it, where you can find announcements, where you can find your pacing tracker, and also how to dive into that content so you know exactly how to be successful in German class. So let's get to it. You can either type classroom in here or you can type, uh, you can click your hot link that many of you have already got there. Um, let's see here. I'm going to click on the German class that I have. And that's something you'll be able to do too, as long as you are logged into your McMinnville School District Google account. If things aren't working for you, check to make sure that you have your school avatar up here. Also note, my school avatar is an American and German flag crossed. Um, that's really important because there's other people at McMinnville High School who have the exact same name as I do. So watch out for that. Look for those avatars and make sure that you are logged into Google Classroom through McMinnville School District. Okay, so we are going to start by taking a look at the stream page. Many of you are familiar with Google Classroom because you've already come from McMinnville School District up to McMinnville High School. If you're new though, let's just take a quick look through it. This is where you're gonna find all of my class and school announcements. For example, if I get sick and it's an emergency and I couldn't communicate to you ahead of time that I was gonna be gone, I will put a little note here in the stream so you know what's up and what's gonna happen when you get to school, okay? The next thing uh, that I would put on the announcements here is stuff like what kind of dress up days do we have coming up for homecoming or where can you buy prom tickets? Or hey, there's this really cool thing happening in Germany or really sad thing happening in Germany that I wanted to share uh, with you about uh, because I'll get notifications because they're nine hours ahead. So this stream is gonna be a really interesting place to just check the message board kind of a thing before you move on into the content of our class. Okay, so now that we've gotten the announcements out of the way, let's take a look at what the classwork tab. This is the uh, meat and potatoes, so to say, of the German class. The very top and the most important are the student resources. These are things you're gonna be using on a daily and weekly basis. Um, the, do for, the do first and the exit tickets, that's gonna be something you're using every single day, as well as the guided notes for class. And also um, at the very end of the week, you're gonna be sending a tiny little progress update to your parents so that way they know how you're doing in German class since they can't just look on eSchool and see that you're okay. Remember, this is an ungraded class. So we have to uh, explain to the community the different ways that we are doing well, okay? Next part is going to be the unit. And you can see here that I forgot to put the unit name here, but it's gonna be the number of the unit and the title of the unit. Like for example, this unit should have been called um, the review of German one since I'm in the German two class here, but all of my classes are gonna look the same. We're gonna start with the personal tracker and then I'm gonna have the mastery checks there for you, okay? Um, so let's just take a quick look at the uh, personal tracker because this is where all of the stuff that you're going to learn is posted and where it's happening, all right? Um, you are going to uh, be able to click right on these links to uh, be sent to Pear Deck. So that way you can have an interactive uh, slideshow that you can work with at your own pace. And that's gonna have everything on there that you need to be successful, as well as the dates when I'm expecting you to be there and when the final deadline for all of the work of the whole unit is. All right, so let's head back. Um, the classroom systems and procedures topic is uh, speaking to things that you might not be sure about how this happens in class or you might need a reminder hey how do i get frau walker to look at my work or what if i have a question or i don't remember how to uh, work through the process of watching one of her videos so i've prioritized them one two three so you can see here and all you got to do is just click on it and there's one slide here uh, for each just kind of explaining what's going on so you know exactly how like for example to find answers in my classroom all right. The other part of Google Classroom that you need to be aware of uh, are the people tab and the grades tab. So let's start with the people tab. When we uh, have all populated ourselves into this uh, class here from McMinnville School District's point of view, you will see all of the students that are in your class here. And this is really good because um, you can connect with these students. Uh, I really encourage you to 
uh, speak with your friends in class, work together as a group, because language learning is not just on the computer. It is also person to person in face. So um, that is a great resource that I think a lot of people often forget about. Last but not least, there is a grades tab here. And remember, we are a ungraded classroom. So um, this tab is simply for, yeah, I did it, or no, I didn't, and I need to finish it, okay? So don't think that this grades tab is the end-all be-all of what kind of letter grade you're going to end up with at the end of the semester. That is between you and me, not the computer. Alrighty. Well, I hope you've learned a lot. And if you have any more questions, you know where to find me. We'll see you shortly. I'm so excited for German class this year. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.